All right, everyone, welcome back to the Theta Communications YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be going over a new patent that was awarded to the Theta Labs team, as well as some Google Monopoly news that is very significant to the space and some of the proceedings as we build out. All right, let us thank our Theta stakers as well as our T Fuel stakers over on ThetaCommunications.com. You guys make this all possible. As well as make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Let's promote Theta related content in the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's dive in. Let's head over here to Twitter. Let's go over to the post by uh, Theta Network here, the official team of a patent that's been awarded for edge computing platforms supported by smart contracts with off-chain solution verification. So this is very exciting, especially this is, uh, this is sounding very Chainlink-like, especially with the off-chain uh, verification, right? We're talking about data that is not existing or populating uh, within the blockchain network, some of the outside sources. Uh, very exciting as we move forward, adding to the basket of patents that Theta, Theta Labs has already acquired. So this is going to add and compound on top of itself. And that compounding relates very closely to some of the news that has broken recently where a judge has ruled in the Google case that Google has an illegal monopoly on search and some of the practices that they've done. So indexing content is a huge business, you know, SEO, search engine optimization. AI has come in as well and kind of flipped some of this model on its head. Even for uh, Google's uh, YouTube here, we have TikTok now where TikTok has become a huge indexer of uh, new content uh, that is not indexing on Google, right? So you have... Uh, TikTok becoming its own search engine where attention spans of kids are getting shorter and shorter and reading is no longer the default. Now it is watching and viewing content. So we're watching the whole landscape change in terms of uh, the cash flows that these companies can can grab, right? Another good example is Apple. Apple is dealing with, uh, you know, for developers, they, they're basically acting like a mafia, right they're they're taking in the year in the euro space here they're taking 17 percent you know 27 percent here for the uh the os for mac os uh it's it, it's big hits right for developers and making it so that uh you know you can't have a separate app store and that's and that's very challenging because it's you know they're trying to grab as much of the cash as they can while the going is good but this judge here in this Google case is slamming the gauntlet down and saying, hey, listen, your your reign is over, your mafia is done. So these organizations have to now find their new cash flow in the new world in the next chapter. And I think crypto is going to play a very big role in this process. And I think through Theta Labs, they've been kind of laying the groundwork uh, in preparation for some of these changes, right? So, and that may be in the, you know, the Google uh, validator node here, right? Where we see they have 5 million theta here as a validator. Uh, Google Cloud uh, has, you know, we've done some partnership collaboration with Google, uh, Google Cloud specifically. And how they're going to find their space, right? Like find their spot. And I think with theta, it sets them up so... Theta, Theta Labs specifically could potentially sell to uh, to Google, and then Google could obfuscate some of the legal risk or monopolization risk through our decentralized network. Right? That may be a rough and crude way of continuing uh, business practices or processes, but it allows them to continue to find ways to. Uh, take their cut of the cheese right or the money that they would otherwise lose through some of these new rulings right same for apple apple has to find you know if, if there's any ruling with uh, app store or telegram coming about with their own in-app app store right where you have applications with sub app stores within those applications 
you're going to be losing significant amounts of revenue, right? And everyone's talking about the uh, the yen carry trade, but I think it's just a fundamental rollover as well on top of these businesses just becoming very mature and uh, developers basically getting sick of having to pay the rent uh, to their uh, to their landlord. Uh, so I think this is a amazing progression. We're in transformational times where indexing is changing, um, you know, AI is changing, and you know some of these things are making this indexing of search, uh, you know, obsolete. Right, where you can directly just get the answer by asking for it. Right, and they go and sort, uh, you know, search for the uh, the source or the information. So we're just beginning this chapter it's really exciting but i think theta and theta labs is setting up a great foundation for an acquisition uh as well as making sure that organizations like aether are always um under the umbrella of the originators right and that the theta network hopefully is always getting a kickback for the work that is being done utilizing similar tech uh, within and under the umbrella of the patents. I think that's super important. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you uh, all join us on T Fuel Island, and I look forward to seeing you all at ThetaCon 2024. All right, everyone, take care. Bye bye.